Welcome to the Accessibility Guide channel. Today, we're gonna use Otter AI for some note taking. The first thing I'm going to do is launch the Otter AI website by going to otter.ai. That brings me to my home screen. Now I do have a paid for account, but most of what I'm gonna show you today can be done using the free version of Otter AI. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit the record button. We're just gonna jump right in and Otter AI will begin to transcribe everything that I say. Now, if we just pretended that we were in a meeting or in a class right now, you can run Otter AI in the background and it will record everything that is said in that meeting or class. Obviously, this is a little different right now because I am simply recording live from this video that I am currently creating. That means I can't mess anything up because then the transcription won't work when I go and cut up the video. Anyways, I'm trying to just ramble on a little bit to get some of the content into the recording. Now, there's a really cool feature you can do. For example, we can hit the share button and we can type in other emails of people we want to join in on this conversation or recording. So if you were in a meeting or in a class, you could simply type in somebody's email and invite them to this recording at the same time. It's a very powerful note-taking tool when used in this way. And you can share it with multiple people. It doesn't have to be just one. So what if we wanted to do a recording of a video? I'm going to try to adjust my windows really quick and launch a YouTube video that we can take some notes from. Please take a second to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, I have a video pulled up on the right-hand side of one of my other YouTube videos and Let's go ahead and stop this recording within Otter and let's do a new one. So I'm going to hit record and then I'm going to play this video that we're going to take some notes from. All right, record and then let's hit this. Play take a look button. at fixing a PDF sample document that is a little more complex than a regular file. The document that you're going to see today has been printed from the web. I want to make sure and note that when I began working on this file, I didn't realize how many problems there were. I went ahead and kept. So some things that we can do, we can use the highlighter feature and we could take notes at the same time. So I'm gonna use some of these features while this video is playing. Recording so that you can see an actual workflow of the next steps I was going to take. But before you really spend time on this video, just know that the file, that the source file that I created was not able to be made accessible. The particular problem that kept getting flagged issue called character encoding. This specific issue must often be fixed at the source. And I could have spent some more time on figuring out a more accessible way to create. But in this example video, I simply did control P, got my PDF, and I tried to fix it some of the methods that I normally use. However, they didn't work. Finally, I had to take the file into a third party program called App in order to get a flattened OCR PDF that I could then start to make accessible. With all of that said, please enjoy the actual. The first thing I like to do is run the accessibility checker. To do that, I'm going to select the accessibility button and then accessibility check. And let's just take a preliminary scan at some of the problems in this file. If I expand these accessibility check options, all right, so we saw a couple of things. Let's go ahead and stop recording for now. Now, it's pretty cool. You can go in and add action items. You can do highlighting of text. Let's open up that conversation we just did though. And it is currently processing, so I'm gonna give it just a moment to finish getting all of the text into what's called my conversation. All right, now that the document, now that the conversation is finished processing, I can simply select it from the My Conversations tab. And then here is my notes. Here are my notes, I can't talk today. Uh, so the first thing I notice on the far right hand side, we have things called takeaways. These are all of the highlights that I did in the document. And what's cool about this is you can come in and assign them to other people that are also doing note taking within this conversation, or you can assign them to yourself. Additionally, you can make comments on some of these takeaways, which can be helpful. You can also add in text notes for this conversation. These items will be on the exam next week. And then you can also link these notes. And if we select the highlighter button again, it will provide all of the highlights in one section. You can also export all of the highlights out by either text, uh, 
document or a PDF. You can do timestamps. And also we can assign speakers. So if you did have multiple people speaking throughout this transcript, you could easily apply the different speakers. Some people don't care about that though. It just depends on what you're doing. Now, if I wanted to come in and add more highlights, I could do that. So I'm gonna select edit conversation and then I'm gonna select the highlight button again. Okay, I think I actually need to select the words first and then select the highlight button, which will bring it again into the highlight window that we have on the right hand side. You can also add things in like an image. So if I wanted to add an image into my notes, I can select this add image from the bottom right corner and we can select an image that we want to insert. There it goes. So this inserted it right inside of the note that I was recording. And this can be useful if you want to take a screenshot of something during the presentation, you can just slap it into the text. You can also add action items based on individual pieces of the notes. So uh, if this was for a meeting or something, we can say, we can take this text here, PDF from a web page, and we want to make this an action item and you can assign it to somebody specifically. And again, all of these appear inside of the highlights and in of the takeaways. You can also select action items and see all of the action items that have been assigned to you. You can then delete them, you can comment on them, and really use this as an organizational tool for your notes. And then finally, you can go up to the hamburger, excuse me, the hot dog menu, the more options button, and you can do a whole bunch of things. You can move some of the content, you can export it out, which I think is the most valuable feature. So I'm gonna select the export button, and then we're gonna change our document to a docx, and we can include things like takeaways and the audio if we want to export this file out. You can then come in here and open up your Microsoft Word document that includes the pictures and the highlights from your document. You also have the note takeaways, which are the highlights or comments that we made within our conversation. And that's it. That's how you use our AI to take notes for a meeting or in a class.